Hey guys, welcome back to Home Built, and this week I am moving forward on my rush repairs and uh, getting ready to finally start putting some panels back on this car. Before I get into things today, I just thought I would uh, talk to you guys a little bit about uh, a new thing that we're running. Those of you who have been watching the 911 build will have seen that I've actually released with Ronia, one of our viewers from the Netherlands, a parts comparison website, PorschePartsByJeff.com. And we're actually just announcing that we're just uh, opening up AlphaPartsByJeff.com as well. So we want you guys to head over there and, and uh, any have a look. Any suggestions? So if you think of another shop that you think would be good on the site, please let us know. Um, Give us suggestions yeah. in the comments. Yeah. Tell us what you think. Tell us what we need to add and uh, Yeah, what you would like to see on it, that kind of thing. So what, yeah. what, if you were looking for part, what would you look for? Basically, it's, it's, it's something that uh, you guys can help us develop and help us get better at. Um, PorschePartsByJeff.com is already working fantastically and we're getting a really good feedback. And we really want to develop AlphaPartsByJeff.com as well. They both are really cool sites. They basically just punch in whatever parts you're looking for yeah. and it will search through a bunch of different stores and then you can link through to those stores and buy them. We don't actually sell anything. It's just a comparison site. And, um, and we all know that building a car is hard enough yes right this there. makes it really easy to find what you need so um uh we want all your suggestions in the comments so uh check it out our yeah. By Jeff. yeah we'd love to know what you think be really great all thank right. you okay. all right so those of you who've been following along will have seen last week i spent a lot of time doing the uh the parcel shelf and doing a few little rust repairs around the car um just getting everything ready so that i can finally start putting panels back on um this week, hopefully I will get to start putting some of these vinyl panels on, but uh, first thing is I need to go through and I'll just show you a bit of my plan of attack moving forward. So the first thing I'm gonna to tackle today, I've got this last rust repair uh, to do behind here, but also the pillars on both sides are both badly rusted. This one is still connected just. Um, it's almost completely rusted through. The other side is completely rusted through. So, um, I need to remake the base of both of these pillars, but um, first thing I'll do is I'll just put that patch in and then we can start um, working out how to fix this stuff. All right, so that last little patch on that side is good. So now it's time to start uh, attacking these pillars. And as you can see here, it's not connected to anything. So I have to um, make up these pieces now. And because they're basically the same or opposite profiles on either side, I can make up two separate pieces. Now, it looks like a more complicated uh, piece, but it's actually just made up of two sections. So it's got one section that's bent in basically like, a, like an S shape and there's a center bit which is like a U shape. So I'm going to uh, go through now and bend up both of these profiles and then I should be able to uh, just sort of trim them off and weld them in uh, staggered, uh, like staggered heights. Should be good. You can see I bent up my replacement piece here and <clears throat> I've set it so it'll fit up nicely. I've actually left, a, there's a bit of a gap here I'm gonna have to fill in with another piece because of my adjusting with it, but that's that's all nice there. And, and I left a, uh, a gap between the uh, outer and the inner. Now this was not connected at all, so there was no way to keep it lined up because it was, never was lined up even the whole time I had this car. Um, this 
lower piece I've cut off lower, so I'm going to replace this inner piece first and weld that on, and then weld the, uh, the cap piece over the outside. So I'll just go and bend up this inner uh, rail and uh, we can start welding it in. Okay, so I've extended the inner portion of this pillar here and the match is quite good. So now it's time to put in my second section, which goes in something like that. Weld that in and that will be uh, one side done and then I have to go over and do the other side. Alright, I'm pretty happy with that repair. That actually looks like a nice solid pillar now. It's a pretty good blend for the repair. That's a win. Now, the other side. Okay, that is both sides done. That pillar looks quite good. It's all uh, nicely repaired now. So um, now I need to continue moving on and maybe start looking down at this bottom sill here. Okay, so as you've seen, I've finally got, I think, most of the rust repaired on the parts that I'm gonna cover up. So now it's time to actually start pulling some of these bits off and particularly this sill is the next thing I need to work on. I need to pull it off and uh, start preparing it to weld it on. So as I'm not great at planning ahead, I'm sort of just working through as I'm going on what I really need to do next. And although I want to uh, weld this panel on, this lower sill panel on, I realize that I really need to go through and rust treat everything underneath first. And that means if I'm gonna do that, I really need to go through and do all of this. So all of this stuff that I'm not gonna be able to get to later, I wanna go through and completely seal it in. And I'm gonna do that with a 2K epoxy primer. So basically what that means is all of this grime on here now, I've got to clean it all, clean all of this area, clean everything I'm going to paint, clean the inside of all those panels because they're also going to get epoxy primer and go over and get everything ready to go so then I can, I can go through and, um, and seal it all in so that it's not going to rust again or at least not for a long, long, long time. So I've got the shell in the booth now, so now it's time to go through and just start doing a light masking. Sort of, I I'm just don't want overspray everywhere, but I'm not going to town. So uh, I can just get all of these internal parts masked up and then cleaned up, and then I can uh, hopefully start putting on some paint. Okay, so I've got this basically masked up now. I've uh, masked along the edges where I'm going to weld and I'm gonna just put some weld through primer on those parts. Uh, but the rest of it is gonna be all solid epoxy primer all around these areas around here. And inside all this area in the back, it's all been cleaned up and also inside uh, these parts here. So 
I'm getting ready now. I'll go and mix up some primer and we can actually get some paint on these things. So eventually I'll be able to weld it up. And it's time to mix up some paint. I'm gonna be using a two pack epoxy primer on the uh, inside of all these panels. This is what Tim uses. You can use uh, some of these sort of uh, single stage paint on paint rust protection things under there. I mean, ultimately it shouldn't get water and stuff in there and rust away, but they do. So um, this, is, uh, this is just going to bite in, give it a good layer of protection inside uh, all these places so that hopefully it will last a very, very, very long time. So um, I'm gonna mix this up now and uh, start painting it on. All right, that's phase one done. It's all the uh, inside bits on the shell of the car. They're all painted up. So now it's time to move this out and move the rear panels in and uh, start putting some paint on them. All right, the booth is still running on those last bits, but the, uh, the body's out here, so now it's time to start unmasking. Okay, so the last step in preparing the, uh, the underside of this uh, car for the panels to be welded on is to go around and just use some uh, weld through primer on some of the bits that uh, that uh, I've left exposed where I'm gonna be welding. Um, I'm just using, some of you asked about this, I'm just using a U-Pole Copper Rich Weld Through Primer. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if I can find something. Uh, basically, just uh, just where, that will be the uh, level protection where I need where, around the bits that are gonna be welded together, but everything else is, uh, is nice and prime up solid. So uh, let's do some primer and then we're uh, pretty much ready to go. Putting some paint on really feels like I'm actually getting somewhere. I've actually made some progress on this job project and uh, it's exciting. Um, unfortunately, that is all the time I have this week, but uh, hopefully next week I can actually finally, instead of just talking about it, really start welding some of these extra panels on the car and actually putting it back together again would be fantastic. Um, in any case, that means it's time for Fun Facts with Mrs. Jeff. Hey guys, 1954 saw the introduction of the Alfa Romeo Giulietta at the Turin Motor Show. The first version was the 2 plus 2 Sprint Coupe, followed by the Berlina 4-door, and then finally the open-topped Giulietta Spider. This was Alfa's first successful foray into the 1.3 litre class. And from 1954 to 1965, a total of 177,000 Giulietta's were made most being in the Bellina model. A few coach-built models were also produced, like Carrozzeria Colli, who built an ultra-rare station wagon variant called the Promiscua, of which only 91 models were made. All right, I was quite happy with the progress I made in this. I still haven't welded anything on to the body, but um, now I've actually got it under etch primer. It's actually going to last and, uh, and not rust under there, so it's all protected. I am quite happy with that. So next week, I don't want to change myself, but I think I can definitely start welding some panels on. <laughs> hey, rust removal, welding. Jeff loves it all. I, I, I actually really enjoy the, uh, this, this panel side of it. The rust removal is slow and tedious, but I, but I actually, um, it's quite rewarding to see it uh, come together. So I'm, I'm happy with it. If you want to help the channel out, don't forget, 
Christmas is coming and what yes. better gift than a home built by Jeff t-shirt. Or coffee mug or uh, hoodie For wives, or girlfriends, whatever. Friends, yeah. friends, brothers. Mm. And uh, help us out on Patreon if you, uh, if you feel they're so inclined. Um, it really helps keep these, uh, these builds on track and uh, helps uh, keep getting some all the expensive parts and stuff I keep having to spork out for this thing. And you can follow us on Facebook and YouTube. Instagram. <laughs> You're already on YouTube. All right. <laughs> oh my God. Sorry, it's the hay fever. It's allergies. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey All guys. There right. you go. The first Julieta Romeo. <laughs> Do we try again? No. You sure? Please no. <laughs> <laughs> so close. <laughs> so many times. Oh, don't add more words. He built an ultra rare stage coach. <laughs> 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 that would be rare. Ultra rare. Stage shin wagon? Yes. Yeah, she got it. 